Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Isaiah and today we are going to be talking about the difference between gaining knowledge and absorbing knowledge. But first before we jump into that, we have to first analyze whether um, we need to know that we need to learn the difference between gaining knowledge and absorbing knowledge. Whenever you're exposed to new information, you gain it. And uh, you, you gain it. That's so I could be so you could be listening to my video right now. You could be watching this video right now. And you're probably only gaining the knowledge. Because what if I asked you months later um, what what you learned from this video? You probably won't remember. I know that if I made this video I wouldn't remember months later if it was me back then. Now, so let's say you attend a work seminar. Um, that's knowledge gained as a, that's not also knowledge gained. And as a result of the conversation that you've had, it's not gonna stick forever. It's gonna go away after some time. Now, let's say we fast forward a month from now. Can you remember the tips and tricks you learned? If that's a yes, if that's a yes, then congratulations, you absorbed knowledge. If no, then that that's a good then then welcome to this video. <laughs> All right. So absorbing knowledge means um, not just learning; it means internalizing something new, but not committing it to memory and being able to recall. This means that you apply it to future situations. And um, for example, recalling a tip you learned during your seminar and applying it to a time consuming project to increase, um, increase your, your, um, your production, your mind capacity, learning capacity. You may say that, um, that you are absorbing knowledge and if you are congrats if not you've got some work but it's not that hard you just need to make sure that whatever you learn you internalize it you could do stuff like getting a notebook like getting one of these just a, no a normal notebook and just make sure that you write down what it is that you are going to make sure you write down what you're learning not only is that gaining knowledge, but you're absorbing the knowledge because you're writing it down. So you remember it in your head that um, you remember what you wrote down. Or if you wanted to absorb it in another way, you can write it down and then record yourself after, which will help you to analyze. It'll help you to not only analyze, but also to internalize it, like I said earlier. I'm gonna help you to internalize what you're writing down, what you wrote down. So, those are some steps that you can take to absorb. If you are gaining, if you are in the gaining information, you need to convert. So try to evaluate what it is that you're doing now and see what it is that you can change. There's this thing that therapists do, therapists do where, um, they'll they won't just give you the answer but they'll try to ask a question so that you can try to figure out it figure that things out on your own which is what i'm going to do with you i'm going to give you the information and i'm going to ask you a question this question is what are you doing right now and what are things that you can do to change from the gaining knowledge mindset to absorbing knowledge so if you are um if you are trying to uh if you are trying to switch over there's going to be a lot of work ahead um so in other words if you're gaining knowledge it's about being exposed to new information and absorbing knowledge and also integrating that information and being able to remember and apply it when necessary so if you're in a company Actually, let's use a different example. I'm in DISC. I started DISC and 
right now, if I wanted to, I could just think about just gaining knowledge, right? I could just watch the video and study for the test, and that's that. Never use DISC again, just so I can have the the certification of the the just the label of being a DISC trainer. Or I could absorb it and internalize what I'm learning, and I can use that daily, like the way I'm doing disc right now when I moved here from Washington in 2020 of August um, I started off clean slate didn't have any friends other than a few that I knew from North Carolina that moved here but it was a clean slate so I had to find methods to make friends and disc was very impactful it helped me to be able to gain friendships because I learned who are people that I like to hang out with, um, how they're, they're wiring, the D for dominant, I for influencing, S for stable, C for calculated, all of those. I was able to learn those and be able to evaluate people, evaluate my peers and see if there are people that I would like to hang out with or, or just to evaluate so that I can be able to manage because there's this thing that my brother and I do where um, him and I are exact opposites when it comes to disc I'm a DI and then he's on the lower half of a SC so he is kind of he's task oriented and also a peacemaker me I just say stuff boldly and people say that I need a filter because uh, I'll just say stuff as soon as it comes in my head and then I also have I, which means I talk a lot. So those two, D-I, man, that right there, it can be a, a big hassle. I know that people that are my exact opposites wouldn't like to hang around me because of how I act sometimes. So I have to kind of switch it up, around, switch it up a, a little bit so that I can be able to interact with some of those people. And let's say you're in marketing. You can use DISC when... Um, uh, you can use disc to sell something. Sell something. Oh my gosh! Look at me getting off topic. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, um, the whole takeaway from this is to find what works best for you, and to switch from being the the person who gains knowledge and just you know learns it for the time being, to absorbing and internalizing what you learn if you can do if you can learn how to do this I can guarantee your working style will switch and you can even learn to switch up how you get stuff done thank you all for watching this video and I hope you have a blessed day